Time for the warm up. So with a lot of the drills we're gonna be doing in the DVD, we're actually gonna be using full body movements. With our warm up, we're actually gonna to try to isolate our joints and do some joint mobility work. So we're gonna start at our neck, we're gonna go all the way down to our ankles. Start at the neck, again with this posture, we're gonna want our feet together, nice, tall and straight. We're gonna reach down to the ground. All I want you to do is rotate back and forth. We're gonna do about 10 to 20 reps per movement, but you know, if you have a sticking area, just pause the DVD of the program and you know, do it for 30 seconds, a minute even. All right, now we're gonna go forward and back. So imagine you're tucking your chin, making that double chin, extending forward, trying to keep your chin level with the ground. Try a little more difficult, we're gonna go side to side. So trying to keep our chin level again, back and forth, still reaching towards the ground with our hands. All right, next nice and loose. Now we're just gonna shrug. Now each time you come down, I want you to reach towards the ground. Then I want you to bring your shoulders as high as you can, making a full range of movement. You can try to get your, your breathing in line. It's kind of tough for me because I'm talking the whole time, but for you, try to make sure you're flowing through each movement. All right, really simple. I want you to cross your arms in front of you, keep your shoulders back and tucked. Throughout the program, I'm gonna be saying, keep your shoulders back and tucked. And our warm up is no different, so get used to it. All right, going reverse direction. These are nice simple drills. There's much more complex joint mobility drills, but all we're trying to do is loosen you up for our 30 minute to 40 minute workout. All right, feet a little bit farther apart, arms out straight. Trying to keep your arms parallel with the ground and reach to either side. It's gonna loosen up your mid back. Again, try to flow through. Back and forth. Again, if you're feeling any kind of, you know, twingy things, go ahead and stop the tape, do an extra 50. All right, this time I want you to reach behind you. But what I don't want you to do is rotate your hips. You can see my hips are staying straight. All we're trying to do is rotate our upper body. All right, now we're gonna loosen it up. Now I want you to let your hips rotate just a little bit. Back and forth. All right, now keep your chest proud, shoulders back, we're gonna hand to the hips. Get down as far as you can while maintaining good form. Come up and reach behind you. Go ahead, loose knees. I don't care if you can touch your toes or not. You're just trying to lubricate the joints. All right, hands on your hips. Why don't you make a big circle. Now you can see my shoulders are staying directly over my heels. If they're moving around a lot more, then you're kind of missing the point of the drill, which is to hit the joints with a variety of movements. Now, feet a little bit closer together. I want you to rock into one joint, bend the opposite knee, and rock back. Back and forth. Should feel this, your bone rocking within your hip socket. Back and forth. If you're feeling really tight, you're going to do this for a while. One more hip, you can go back, come up straight to the opposite side. So again, I'm hinging at the hips. I'm aiming towards that back corner with one hip at a time. Back and forth. Again, nice loose knees. Back and forth. This is one that you know, you're gonna to wanna to work on if you wanna to start descending farther into your squats. All right, really quick knee. I want you to do, feet together, keep that same distance between your knees. I want you to go back and forth, keeping your hip or your feet flat on the ground. Last one, stand on one foot, point the toes, and imagine making a big circle with your toes. Keep them pointed. Might hear some pops. That's good. Opposite side. 
in an opposite way. All right, now we're gonna do some quick calisthenics just to get things ready. So what I want you to do is a good morning. You'll see this in the tutorials. Hands behind your ears. I want you to bend at the hips, get your hips behind you. Try to make that tabletop. And back up, we're going 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we're going body weight squats. Again, feet about shoulder width apart, hands out straight, proud chest, shoulders back and tuck, and descend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, hips nice and loose, back straight, neutral, and we're ready to go into our workout. All right, time for the kettlebell strict press. Now, a lot of people confuse this with the front press, actually press it off your chest. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kick it, kick it out, engage our lats to get it overhead. We're going 10 on the 45. All right, get into the rack position, and go. One, keep that shoulder tucked. Two, nice tight core. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, not a ton of rest, but just enough to shake it off, get to the other side. Remember, if you're not feeling it down here in your back, then you're probably using all shoulder and extending at the top. All right, get it back up, other side, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, and 10. All right, let's head back down. Again, shake it off. If you're not getting the reps done or you're having to resort to a front press, then line up the weight. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so it is a grind, but you know, get the reps done. You only have 45 seconds. Five seconds to go. And we have our last set on the left side. You have position, bracket. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Set down, 10 seconds to rest. Shake it out. Do a nice, tight core at the top. Okay, you're keeping the shoulders tucked the entire time. Nice work. All right, time for the front squat. We're gonna be doing 10 reps on the 45. Now, I want you to still focus on form, but make sure you get all the reps done by the 45 seconds. You should have about 10 seconds rest per set. All right, ready? And go, get it up, and go. One, two, three, stay nice and vertical. Four, five, 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I did that pretty fast. You do a little bit slower, get a little bit more, you know, control as you descend. So you got 15 seconds to rest. So nice controlled reps, tight core. Make sure you're not slouching at any point during the drill. We call that proud chest. All right, other side, you ready? And get up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Again, nice safe put down. So we got a little bit of time to rest, 15, 20 seconds. Recover with each set. So we got 10 seconds to rest. If it's taking the entire time, you're probably using a little bit too much weight. All right, get ready for it. Weight up and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Again, about 15 to 20 seconds rest. Should be controlling each rep. It's somewhere in between a deliberate and kind of an explosive movement. But for here, since you have so much time to rest, go and make it deliberate. All right, last one. Get the weight up. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice, still got the 20 seconds rest. Nice and controlled, keep it going. Breathe through each rep, tight core throughout. So go five seconds, keep going. Wrap it up and done. Nice work. All right, time for some core work. We're gonna do the plank shoulder touch exercise. It's a little variation of the standard plank. And again, it reinforces core stability and anti-rotation. So five seconds, we're going 20 reps on the 30 second. So nice and quick. Ready? And a nice plank, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So nice and fast. You'll get a little bit of sway, but try to counter that by keeping a nice tight core. So this just reinforces good plank technique. Five seconds to go, and we're going again. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right. So again, try to sway as little as possible. Try not to rotate as you pick your hand off the ground to touch your opposite shoulder. Keep going. You got five seconds. Wrap it up and stop. Nice work. Time for the two hand swing exercise. So remember, nice shoulders back, not shrugging. We're going 10 on the 30 seconds. Nice endurance drill. All right, great for five seconds. Put the bell in position. Nice straight back, hike it back, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Sit down, nice and safe. Shake it off. Think about 15 to 18 seconds. Should give you between 10 and 15 seconds rest. <sighs> Breathing. Five seconds to go. All right, get ready for it. Tilt it back and go. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And sit down again, 10 to 15 seconds rest. Keep it going. Line up at the weight if you need to. Five seconds. Again, should not be tiring out your arms. Use your hips and stop. Nice work. All right, guys, time for the goblet squat. We're gonna be doing 10 reps on the 45 second. Don't just rush through these. We're grinding through them. This is a deliberate movement. We're going in five seconds. Gonna get the weight up. Both close your chest and go. Descending. One. Two, nice and deep. Stay nice and vertical. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sit down nice and safely. All right, so you saw I was going nice and deep. If you finish this in 10 seconds, you're probably going too fast. Go and slow it down. Five seconds to rest. You're looking for a three, three count down, three count up. And go. 10 reps, nice and slow. One. Try to follow my pace. Two. And my breathing. Three. Four. Five. Keep the cat about close. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, should be finishing behind me, but not too far ahead of me. Try to keep that pace. This is a deliberate exercise. Keep it going. Three seconds. And stop. Nice work. All right, time for the two-hand press. So just like your strict press, we're going to be keeping a tight core, knees locked out. We're going to squeeze the glutes the whole time. Get the weight up. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Set the way down. You know, you can kind of pick up the pace. This is more of an endurance drill rather than a deliberate strength drill. So you get a little bit of rest, but you know, bust out the reps. Watch your chin. Make sure you have a cradle in front of you. Ready, get the weight back up. 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Nice work. Shake out those arms. Still got 10 seconds to rest or finish up the reps. Remember, tight core, bring it all the way down before going back up. Three seconds, and stop. Nice work. All right, time for the hip raise exercise. So get down on the ground, you're gonna keep your feet flat, and all you're gonna do is raise your hips towards the ceiling. Make sure you squeeze your glutes at the top of the reps and really try to activate your posterior chain. All right, three seconds, feet flat on the ground, arms up, and go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so just enough time to get the reps done. Pretty simple exercise, so try to do it as quick as possible. All right, next set. Ten on the 30, and go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, pretty simple drill, but make sure you're squeezing your glutes at the top of each rep and rolling your spine off the ground. Keep going and stop. All done. All right, time for the figure eight drill. This is a fun exercise, but make sure you're always going from in front of you 
two behind you, never the opposite direction because you can land on your feet. We're going 10 on the 30 second. Get ready, just like your swing start, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, sit it down, gonna rest. 10 seconds, not too bad. Remember, I'm standing up straight every single time. I'm not staying down here, putting pressure on my back. Just like your swing, stand up straight, nice tight core. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sit down. Looks like an easy drill, but we'll get your heart pumping if you're doing it correctly. Keep on going. Five seconds. Bust it out, wrap it up. And stop. Nice work. All right, time for the wide halo exercise. This is just like the regular halo upper body drill, but this time we're bringing it all the way down to our hips, which will encourage a little bit more core stability than the standard rep. We're going 10 on the 45. Alternating each time. Get the weight up, bring it down to your hips. One, alternate directions each time. Slow and deliberate. Two, tight core, tight glutes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now you can do that drill faster, but we're trying to stay on pace. Should take you about 30 seconds to do all 10 reps. You got 10 seconds rest, then we're gonna do it again. Remember, alternate each time. Tight core, suck that belly button in. All right, ready? Fill it up, and go. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, if you're not being able to bring the kettlebell around your head, it probably means that your shoulders are a little bit too tight. Go and use the warm-up drills to get them a little looser. Keep on going. And stop. Nice work. All right, time for the deadlift exercise. This is a deliberate drill, so we're gonna concentrate on form, but it's a pretty short movement, so you can do the reps actually pretty fast. We're gonna go 10 on the 30. All right, remember, this really reinforces the hinge for the swing, so concentrate on keeping your shoulders back, chest proud. And up, one, two, three. Nice neutral spine, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Go ahead and pause at the top and reset. You got five seconds before we go it again. Nice quick drill. Ready? And go. And shoulders back. Reset at the top if you have to. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Sit down, shake it off. So you got five seconds, wrap it up. And stop. All right, time for some push ups. So, push ups, remember, nice solid plank position. Make sure that your wrist is lined up with your elbow, which is lined up with your shoulder. Go all the way to the ground, should be within a fist uh, distance of the ground. Get ready, we're going 10 on 30. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, pretty quick. If you want to, you go a little bit more slow and methodical. I did that in about 15 seconds, but if you want to hit 20 seconds, that's all right too. All right, get ready for it. Five more seconds, then we're busting out another ten. 
goes there. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So pretty simple. Make sure you're going full depth. In this exercise, even if you, you know, are too tired or would rather have you do less reps than to do bad form. Keep going, three seconds. Almost there. And stop. Nice work. Time for some sit-ups. The key to making sit-ups a little bit more functional than your standard, you know, a million reps is to take away the anchor away from your feet, which engages the core more, and to do slow, methodical reps. We're going to go 10 on the 30. All right, ready? And go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right, not a lot of time for rest, but you know, as you know, sit-ups aren't the most taxing exercise, so that's okay. All right, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, should be a little bit more taxing than your standard sit-ups. You got five seconds, wrap it up. Two seconds, and stop. Nice work. Time for the leg raise exercise. So with the leg raise, the way to make it more effective is by engaging your core. So don't allow your back to arch and leaving a gap on the ground. So go ahead and lay back. Legs nice and straight. Get ready for it, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so you don't have a lot of time for rest. We're doing 10 on the 30, so you only have about five more seconds before we go again. And go for it. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, five seconds, going to wrap it up. Pretty quick exercise. And stop. Nice work. All right, time for the mountain climber drill. So this is a pretty uh, fast exercise. All you're gonna do is get into your plank position and run your feet, trying to get your knees in line with your elbows. We're gonna go 20 reps, and one rep is two feet, both feet going, on the 30. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So remember, both feet need to hit the ground to count as one rep. So you're technically doing 40 reps if you're looking to just count every time your feet come off the ground. All right, get ready, three seconds. And let's go it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, quick drill, but really intense. Make sure you're trying to get your knee in line with your elbows when they're on the ground. Don't just do quick little steps. Three seconds to go, keep it going, and stop. Nice work. 